This is question number seven. In part A, we're asked to describe a geometrical transformation that maps the graph of y is equal to 4 to the x onto the graph of y is equal to 3 times 4 to the x. The question carries two marks. We can state that this is a stretch. It's in the positive y direction. So we'll have now the positive y direction and the scale factor is 3. If you have a sentence including these pieces of information, that will give you the two marks. In part B, we're asked to sketch the curve with equation y equals 3 times 4 to the x, indicating the value of the intercept on the y axis. The question carries two marks. So we're going to have an exponential graph. The original graph would pass through the point 0, 1. We put a scale factor stretch of 3 on, so this will pass through the point 0, 3. So the graph will look something like so, and it will get very steep very quickly. We'll have this point here, 0, 3, and we can say that y is equal to 3 multiplied by 4 to the power of x. In part C, it says the curve with equation y is equal to 4 to the minus x intersects the curve y equals 3 times 4 to the x at the point P. We're asked to use logarithms to find the x-coordinate of p, giving our answer to three significant figures. The question carries five marks. If y is equal to 4 to the minus x and y is equal to 3 times 4 to x, we can set those equal. So we'll have 3 multiplied by 4 to the x will be equal to 4 to the minus x. Just going to rewrite the right-hand side of the equation. 3 multiplied by 4 to the x is equal to to 1 over 4 to the x. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 4 to the x and divide both sides of the equation by 3. 4 to the x multiplied by 4 to the x will give me 4 to the power of 2x and that will be equal now to 1 third. At this stage I'm going to take logs of both sides of this equation using base 10. I'm going to have log of 4 to the power of 2x will be equal to log of 1 third. Lots of different opportunities here. I can bring the power down. I'm going to bring the x down. You can bring 2x down. I'm simply going to use the power law to bring the x down. And I'm going to write this as x log 4 squared, which is 16, is equal to log of 1 third. So if at this stage you've brought the 2x down, that's perfectly fine. If you've left it as 4 squared or 16, perfectly fine. Lots of different forms that this could be written in. Dividing both sides by log 16, we have log of 1 third divided now by log of 16. I'm going to put this through a calculator and find this now to three significant figures. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got log of a third, and I'm going to divide this now by log of 16. This is going to give us a negative number, so log of one third divided by log of 16. So we've got negative, so this is 3962. Let's put this in. So 3962. Then we have after 6240 and so on and so forth. We need to give our answer to three significant figures. So we'll have minus or negative 0 0.396. And that is given to three significant figures. So five marks for the final part of the question. And as stated, you're going to get the same answer. It just depends on how you treat the power here. You could bring the 2x down and divide by now 2 log 4. Entirely up to you. These are just log laws. We would get the same answer either way. Tell me up.